Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinav and uh, in this video today we will be seeing about the Employees uh, State Insurance Corporation, the Insurance Medical Officer exam. So now this looks like a good opportunity. This exam is uh, the application process for this exam is about to open uh, by this month end. So this is a good opportunity for you. So uh, why not attend this exam as well? So this is quite a new uh, topic for me also. I've done some basic research on this uh, uh, exam and came up with few information which I thought is worth sharing with you guys. So please uh, make sure you watch the video completely so that you can know about this exam completely and give this exam a try also. So we'll start the video. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. So what is about this exam? So basically we are applying for the post of uh, insurance medical officer. Uh, we might have seen the ESI uh, clinics and dispensaries throughout the India. So you will be posted there as an insurance medical officer. So to know about uh, where these hospitals are, the list is in the uh, ESI website itself. So I'll uh, tag that uh, link in the description also. You can go and see if you have the clinics or dispensaries in your city also. So this is a permanent government job with a good salary also. So as I said before, you can be posted anywhere in the country. Um, the exam dates that they have given the website is the application opens from 31 December 2021 and make sure you do apply for this exam and last date for applying is 31 January 2022. So the fees, the application fees for this exam is uh, just 200 or 250 only. So uh, you should uh, give this exam a try. So the vacancies for 2021 are for underserved it's 459 vacancies, OBC 303. SC 158, ST 88, PWS 112, PWD 90 and total of 1,120 plus uh, 90 PWD. So this is quite a lot of vacancies. So if you try giving this exam, then definitely there's a good opportunity that you can be selected also. So these are the vacancies as of uh, that is uh, given for 2021. So how is the pay? So you can start anywhere from 56,100 to 1,77,500 depending on where you are being posted. And not only that, you are also getting other benefits such as the DNS allowance, non-practice allowance, house rent allowance, transport allowance, and free medical care for you and your family. So this is uh, quite good uh, uh, benefits to be having apart from the good salary also. So this looks uh, good. So the age limit for applying for this exam is up to 35 years of age. So if you are uh, less than 35 years of age, then this is a good opportunity. So who can apply? All the MBBS doctors can apply. And people who are currently doing their internship can also write this exam. But before joining your post, you should have completed the CRRI course. So how to apply? Uh, you will have to go to UPS, uh, sorry, esic.nic.in website. And if you see here, there's this uh, new update uh, column. In this, if you press the second button, there will be recruitment. So in this running list, you can find the uh, application process for IMO. As of now, you can't find it. So only after this uh, 31 of uh, December, the application process will open. After that, you can come here and check here and apply it here. So if you see here, recruitment for insurance medical officer, great to allopathic in ESA corporation, click here. So if you click here and see, uh, they, there will be uh, information about this exam, the dates that, are, that I have told already uh, that I took it after uh, checking it from the official website. So this is the official website for uh, ESIC and make sure you keep uh, visiting this website now and then to get the updates. So how is the exam process? So basically you will have two exams, the written exam and the interview exam. The written exam is, uh, practic uh, the written exam is for 200 marks. So we'll be having two papers, one hour each for each paper. So the subjects that you are needed to study is that medicines and pediatrics in paper one, medicines of 20, uh, medicines of 80 marks and pediatrics is of 20 marks. So total 100 marks in paper one. And for paper two, surgery 34 marks, OBG 33 marks, PSM 33 marks. So for a total of 100 marks. So paper one, 100 marks for one hour. Paper 200 marks for an hour. So total the written exam will be for 200 marks. And uh, uh, on uh, checking, I did not find anywhere that uh, the negative marks are there. So probably there is no negative marks. This is just 200 uh, multiple choice questions that you will have to attend. So part two of exam, 
once you have been selected in the interview uh, once you have been selected in the written exam with a good cut off you will be called for the interview that is for 50 marks so how many people will be called for the interview is that you take the number of vacancies and multiply it by times 3 so it, for for this year 1100 vacancies means so 3300 students will be called for the interview and 1100 students will be selected for the final post so this is how the exam process runs we will have a written exam and also an interview exam so we will need to score a minimum qualifying uh, mark in order to secure a uh, secure a uh, place in the interview so what you will have to do is uh, for an un unreserved categories you will have to score at least 45% of the written exam marks so that is if if you are writing for 200 marks you will be scoring at least uh, um, about 90 marks or uh, for obc ews 40% marks scst 35% marks pwd 30% marks so only if you score above this percentage in the written exam you will be eligible for being called for the personal interview so make sure you know about this also so can you do pg after joining uh, esi yes so after serving for 5 years you are eligible to get a study leave for in which you can do the pg course so you will have to again appear for the neat exam and if you are selected then you can do the pg course so uh, you will have to do 5 years of service in esi and during that time you will have to apply for uh, no objection certificate to avail a study leave that is for doing pg so 3 years of uh, leave will be available for you in the 3 years you can do your pg also so this is a uh, quite a big topic also so make sure you keep updating about yourself about this topic and for now make sure that uh, you apply for the exam by the end of this month and this is a good exam and a good opportunity for you also so i have uh, taken this information after researching it from the internet so if there are any mistakes please do let me know in the comment section so also if you want to know about the important topics for this exam please do let me know in the comment section i can research about it uh, i'll try to find someone who has given the exam and uh, i'll try to share the topics with you as well so that's all for today's video if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and thank you